In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Photoshop and Illustrator to create storyboards and prepare images for the graphical user interface of a game. The user interface of the Geography game includes several 2D graphics. Labels such as the title, MIT logo, and Artemis logo. Three toggles, credits, description, and camera. Every toggle uses four images, one each for its neutral, hover, active, and hover active state. Two buttons, reset and exit. Each button uses two images, one for neutral and one for hover state. Finally, the background uses a dark purple image texture. All these images were created in Photoshop and Illustrator. First, let's create the background image. In Photoshop, go to File, Open. Here is the image we want to use for the background of the geography game. To change the size while preserving the background graphic design, we shall change the canvas. Go to Image, Canvas Size. Use pixels as units. Pixel dimensions translate exactly into dimensions you can later use in Unity. Change the width to 1200 pixels and height to 800 pixels, which are the dimensions we'll use later for the game screen. Anchor the image at the bottom and hit OK. The canvas size is now 1200 by 800 pixels. To fill the extra space on the top, first click on the rectangular marquee tool on the left toolbar and select the top area of the purple image. Then go to Edit, Transform, and select Scale. Grab the handle on the top of the rectangular outline and pull it to fill the extra space. Let's save this file in Photoshop. Let's also save this image for Unity, since we will need it later as a texture image. Choose PNG as the format this time and save the image file. Now let's add more images to the Photoshop file using File, Place. For example, we can add logos, such as the official MIT and Artemis logo. Make sure you have proper license permissions if you are adding any official graphic identity, such as logos or seals. We also add a reference image of Earth, which indicates where our 3D model of Earth will appear in the game. To resize an image proportionally, hold down the Shift key while dragging the outline box. Save the Photoshop work file. Let's also save this as a reference image, which we'll use in Illustrator for the storyboard. Go to File, Save As, and choose PNG as the format. Give the file a descriptive name and save it. We'll create the storyboard and more images for the game in Illustrator. In Illustrator, go to File, New, and set the size to 1200 by 800 pixels. Set the resolution to 72 dpi and color mode to RGB color. Now, go to File, Place, and select the background reference image we created in Photoshop. Illustrator and Photoshop can open files with many graphic formats. The most commonly used ones are JPEG and PNG. Note that in the Layers panel on the right, Illustrator automatically placed the image on a layer. Double-click on the layer name to rename it. Let's save this work file in Illustrator. File, Save As. Select Illustrator EPS, which stands for Encapsulated Postscript. 
Illustrator saves imported images inside the EPS file itself. This way, all images we need are inside the same EPS work file. We are now ready to storyboard and create images for the game. Let's create the game title first. Create a new layer using the icon under the Layers panel. Select the Type tool from the vertical toolbar on the left. With the layer selected, click on the screen and start typing. You can change font style, size, and other characteristics from the top horizontal toolbar or in the character and paragraph windows. To change font color, open the color and swatches windows. As you may have noticed, Illustrator and Photoshop have many similar options to choose from, but there are also some important differences. Most importantly, Illustrator creates vector graphics objects, which means we can resize an object while preserving its resolution. To make the title larger, select the object and resize it, holding down the Shift key to keep the proportions. Note how the font size changed. You can now type a new font size in the top toolbar. To create images for a button, we'll use duplicate layers. Let's create the two images for the exit button. First, we create the neutral image using the familiar tools. Create a new layer. Select the Type tool and type Exit. Change the font style, size, and color as desired. To create the hover image for the exit button, we'll duplicate the neutral image. Select the layer, then open the drop-down menu using the icon in the top right corner of the Layers panel and select Duplicate. Illustrator creates the duplicate layer exactly on top of the original one. Rename the new layer so you don't confuse them. Then hide the original layer and change the color of the new button image. Now we have both images for the exit button, one each for the neutral and hover state. To create the reset button, we can duplicate the entire exit button layer, including the two sublayers for neutral and active. Select the Exit button layer, open the drop-down menu, and duplicate it. Rename the new layer and its two sublayers. Then select both with the mouse while holding the Shift key down and move them up. Change the text to Reset for the two reset images on the screen. Show the Exit button again. Here are the two buttons. We create the images for the camera toggle once again using layers and the type tool. The only difference is that there are four images for the toggle for four different states.
For the Description and Credits buttons, we'll use non-horizontal text. Let's create the Description Toggle images Select the object on screen. Activate the Rotate tool from the vertical toolbar on the left. Rotate the object as desired. Then duplicate it and modify the color and text for the other three states. Note that it is better to create the desired image and only then duplicate it. This way, the images appear exactly at the same location. This is very important for images for buttons and toggles, which will swap in the graphical user interface. We create the four images for the credits toggle in a similar way. Let's now export the graphics we created. Start the Slice tool using its icon on the left vertical toolbar. Note how the cursor changes. Draw on the screen to define the outline of an image. Illustrator automatically slices the screen. You can select and resize a slice with the mouse or type exact size and location in the top toolbar. Since we are creating these images for Unity, it is good to use dimensions that are multiples of two. We shall be able to use the same pixel dimensions later in Unity. Let's create the exit button images. First, hide the background image, which we used only for reference. Then hide the hover layer and show only the neutral layer. With the slice selected, go to File, Save for Web. Select PNG Format, Set Transparency On, choose Selected Slices, and save the image. This will create an image with transparent background, which can be superimposed over other images. Choose where to save the new image, give it a descriptive name, and hit Save. Looking at the desktop, Illustrator has included the slice number in the file name and has saved the file in a subdirectory called Images. Remove the slice number from the file name if you wish. Now hide the neutral layer and show the hover layer. Again, use File, Save for Web, and save the image. Next, we create all images for the title, reset button, and all toggles.